Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the end of week five. This week we talked more about the roles and responsibility that a CNL has. And I think that just strengthened my resolve in that I picked the right um, track for what I want to be able to do and what I want to be able to accomplish with my career. Um, I really resonated with the idea that the CNL is a role of accountability, both for the microsystem and um, for patient outcomes. And so I thought that was really important. Um, and the decrease in readmission rates and the increase in satisfaction, I think is so important to overall health. So I just really embrace that as we learned about that this week. And I think too that the CNL role is so unique in that it really encompasses some of the other um, advanced practice RN specialties while um, kind of putting everything all together. So if we think like a clinical nurse specialist, they might, they have one specialty and they are comprehensive for that specialty across the healthcare system, whereas the CNL is more patient focused. So it's not so much just that specialty, it's the entire holistic care of the patient, which I think is so important um, because of the fragmented healthcare system that we have. And one of the main goals of the CNL was to decrease that fragmentation. And so when we think about the role of the CNS versus the role of the CNL, the CNL is putting it all together. And I think that's so important. And then when we think about the unit and nursing manager, that same idea of keeping the microsystem accountable is still there, but the CNL has different relationships with the healthcare system. And whereas the unit manager is more in charge of keeping the nursing group together, the CNL really has to work as a, um, is an intermediary between the interdisciplinary health teams. And I think that's so important, especially coming from my background and a lot of long-term care is that you really have to be on board with dietary and speech and PT and OT because without that um, aspect of it, you aren't going to be able to get that rehabilitation for the patient well enough so that they can go home or go back to where they were living before. And so I think more acutely, I really understand how important that is. So I that really resonated with me as well. And then when we think about a nurse educator, so the nurse educator role, we think of academia. It's preparing nurses to go into clinical settings. It's much more of a staff education situation, whereas the CNL really has to be prepared to educate not only staff, but patients, families, communities. And so it's kind of an overarching education, which is really part of nursing that I really enjoy. And so I really appreciate the CNL role and being able to bring all of those things together. Um, when we're talking about um, those nine particular highlights of being a CNL. We talk about the clinician. So we're at the point of care at the microsystem. The CNL is still a provider of care, um, but kind of on a bigger scale. So not just passing meds and doing treatments and that kind of um, staff nurse responsibility, but also how does it all fit into the patient's general wellness? Um, we talk about an outcomes manager where we're really looking forward. What can we do to create the best possible outcome for this patient? What is the patient's desired outcome? How can we best facilitate those outcomes? That goes hand in hand with client advocacy patient centeredness as a part of um so we we talked about steep as an idea of safety timeliness efficacy um efficiency equitability um and patient centered care 
um, to really create the best care that we can for patients. So when we think about patient, patient centeredness, we're thinking about the outcomes that they want and we're thinking about how we can support them in their communities. Then the educator role, I kind of talked about when I was talking about a CNL versus a nurse educator, but as an educator and as a CNL, we're responsible for educating the patient, the families, and the communities to be able to support the patient, not just in a healthcare setting, but also at home and in the community. The CNL is also, <coughs> excuse me, an information manager. So the CNL needs to embrace um, new systems of information because how can we use those to our advantage? There's people every day that we're missing, people that aren't receiving the care and the information that, we're, that they need. How can we use today's technology and today's information access to be able to reach those patients? I think that's such an untapped resource that... Um, as a CNL, we really need to be thinking about how can we how can we do more. Um, member of a profession, um, I think that has really been throughout the beginning of this semester. Um, kind of the thing that struck me the most is how can I represent nursing on the professional scale. And what can we do to build trust from our patients and with our colleagues to represent nursing as professionally and at, with as much honor as we can. Um, then the CNL is also a team manager. So what I was talking about before with the interdisciplinary team, all of those parts are very important. And so the CNL is really the person that brings all of those specialties together for the whole patient. Um, and we know how important holistic care is. Then lastly, as a lifelong learner, the CNL continues to build skills, continues to build knowledge to be able to provide the best care that they can for patients. And then if we think about how is the role of leader reflected in the CNL role, is so I was struck by a lot of things both in this class and then in my innovations class this semester about management versus leadership and um, as a nursing supervisor I really have to be able to do both and I think that as a CNL um, those relationships that are built creates the opportunity to lead if the CNL acts with, as a professional. They are good stewards of the knowledge that they have. They're respectful of their colleagues. It creates an environment where people can respect and trust the CNL. And that creates the natural system where they would be a leader in that microsystem. Um, it's just been really a lot to think about and both personally and in a professional sense as I kind of take the knowledge that I've been learning and take it to work every day. And so um, I just hope that you all have been getting um, as much out of it as I have. Thank you.